back to my channel or welcome if you're new in today's video i have some more sneak peeks for summer part two coming up so make sure to subscribe for more dress to impress sneak peek content because i am on the road to 51,000 subscribers and my goal is to get to 100,000 subscribers <laughs> before summer ends so yesterday i hit 50,000 subscribers which means so much to me thank you guys so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers like i actually cannot believe it the fact that i actually hit 50,000 subscribers so as always when i hit my summer goal i have you guys vote in my discord server what my next summer goal should be and you guys voted for 100,000 subscribers which is practically insane but maybe we'll hit it i don't know make sure to subscribe to help me reach my new summer goal and as always make sure to go check out my other sneak peek videos before you watch this one i'm gonna be referencing a lot of sneak peeks from my recent videos so i highly recommend to go watch my other sneak peek videos before you watch this one so let's just get straight into the video <laughs> Just as a quick disclaimer and a reminder for you guys, everything I'm showing you guys in this video is subject to change, which basically means what I'm showing you guys could look completely different from when it actually releases in-game, or they might not actually release what I'm showing you guys in today's video in the upcoming update. It might get released in future updates, but not in the specific update summer part two. So just keep that in mind while you're watching today's video. So everything I'm gonna be showing you guys in today's video was sent by developers or GG, the owner of Just to Impress and was sent in the official dress to impress discord server so a developer sent this screenshot and it looks like somebody doing a pose that we don't have in game now i could be completely wrong however this is just a screenshot that a developer sent into the chat and it looks like a pose that we don't yet have in the game i could be wrong though but i'm pretty sure we don't have that pose so maybe that's a pose that we're gonna get in the future or maybe it was something silly and it wasn't like a sneak peek or anything for poses coming in the future but gg the owner of dress to impress sent this picture in the chat now i'm not 100 percent sure what this means maybe they're working on a body type specifically for the mermaid tail because if you look at the bottom you can see the mermaid tail so maybe they're working on a body type that will fit for the mermaid tail specifically and then gg sent a question in the chat asking members what clothes that were removed do y'all want back the most so maybe in the upcoming update or in a future update we're gonna see the return of a lot of items that were removed in previous updates because if you didn't know there was a lot of things that they do end up removing because of lag in almost every update so maybe we're gonna see the return of them but maybe they're gonna be a little reworked or something like that i'm very excited though to see if we're gonna get the return of some clothing and then Gigi said organizing the map so it's easier for y'all to find stuff period and then she sent a bunch of photos of things kind of reorganized because as you guys know in the new update it was a little bit difficult to find everything i'm still struggling to find some stuff so i think this is gonna help so much more with everything being all together and a little bit more organized so i'm very happy to see this and you can see that there's actually something different in one of the photos so it seems like this area that i'm currently in that wall that was there like the brown wall i think that's actually going to be replaced with some shelving which is pretty cool and then Gigi said i want more belly chains so maybe we're gonna see some more belly chains added in the upcoming update or in a future update which is pretty exciting because as you guys know we only have two belly chains in game so far one is free and one is vip and then somebody told gg please make the map smaller and gg said no sorry so this is confirmation that i'm pretty sure the map itself is actually gonna stay the way it is for a pretty long time they probably made it big on purpose so then each update they don't have to renovate the dressing room so it's probably gonna stay the way it is now so then they can add more and more stuff for upcoming updates and then the last thing Gigi said in the chat was the next update is gonna eat i'm very excited to see what they have for summer update part two because i literally have no idea what else they could add 
for a summer update like and i know i just said Gigi sent that last message but a couple of hours later she ended up sending some more things so she asked in the chat what colors do y'all want for this palette send hex and if you didn't know this is the hair palette which is assigned to some specific hairs in dress to impress because if you did not know roblox has this weird thing where they can only use certain colors for certain hairs i'm not really sure like the full context behind it i know some of the developers have talked about it before but yeah so then somebody replied and said you being for real and Gigi responded and said mm -hmm. and like i was mentioning before about like the hair and the roblox thing Gigi actually did specify it so somebody said react with a red heart if you think Gigi needs to make all color palettes like the same for every hair and she said i wish but sadly we can't because roblox won't add that feature required to do that once again i'm not exactly sure what gg or the developers are talking about like the exact context behind it but you can get an idea of what it means like it's roblox that's not allowing it it's not dressed to impress but then they sent into the official dress to impress sneak peek channel and it was a developer and they sent a teddy bear now if you take a closer look at the teddy bear it looks like it's gonna be a code item because of the way it looks like the setting it's in because most code items when they reveal it or they do sneak peeks for it it usually looks like this but the developer also said coming with summer part two which i'm very excited to get a little teddy bear and then a developer responded and said am i the only one who didn't know summer was getting a part two and then Gigi said the update you're working on right now so i just thought this was kind of funny because how did one of the developers not know that there was another update coming out and then Gigi spammed a thread that says themes you want removed and she sent it about three times and a thread is basically like a another chat where they talk about something specific and in this case it's themes that they want removed so i do think this is pretty interesting so maybe we're gonna get some themes removed in a future update i'm assuming that they're gonna end up replacing them though because in every update they usually add a couple of more themes and then Gigi confirmed in the chat y'all the update isn't coming out tomorrow but i'll reveal the date in a couple of days my guess for the update coming out it's probably going to be around the 30th or maybe they're going to end up releasing it in august i'm very excited to see the date though so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because i will post as soon as the date is announced and another reason to subscribe to me is because Gigi said that they're working on a promo video for the update now i'm not exactly sure when this is going to come out she didn't say anything about when it's actually going to be released but i will definitely post about that as well when it gets released and for some context a promo video is them basically showcasing items or an item that's going to be released in the update which is pretty exciting like those sneak peek videos that they usually posted on tiktok for the summer update that's basically what they mean by promo video but then Gigi sent a photo of what the bloodstained pattern looks like and i'm very very excited then Gigi said y'all the next update isn't that big but still update it's a good one so i don't know maybe it's not going to be as big as the first summer update because that one was like a huge update but she did say it's still a good one so i'm excited to see what they have in store for us so then the developer that works on poses said in the chat some poses that aren't in packs are going to be reworked redone and made cuter so besides pose 28 which ones should i rework so i guess all the other poses are going to be reworked since there is some poses that like don't have an animation to them so that's probably what they mean by rework them and then owen said hope you guys are ready for halloween lana is going to be there with a harder quest maybe so i'm going to probably debrief this in like one of my future London lore videos but I think my theory is correct if you've been keeping up with my Lana lore videos that Lana might take over dress to impress by Halloween and then Owen said what do you guys think the hardest obby is should they be harder or easier or a mix of them both and then proceeded to say later on in the chat yes I might stream myself making harder obbies I just feel like they're super short but I can't change that so if Owen does end up streaming it I will definitely be there and i will let you guys know what was in the stream or you guys could go check it out yourself and then owen said me because the update after the next update is so gag worthy <laughs> <laughs> once it's how you guys so bad but i can't so i guess like the update that is like 
the biggest update that we should look forward to is the one after summer update part two i'm assuming that's like where the big update is going to be since owen did say some people might be more excited for the update after that as well and then another developer said in the chat i'm so excited for next update it's probably going to be our biggest and most viral one like no kidding it's beyond imagination like omg i'm honestly really confused because everybody's saying different things about this update so i'm not exactly sure what to expect but i'm still excited regardless and then they posted in the official dress to impress sneak peek channel and said here are a few faces that I've made that are coming very soon. So I'm excited to see them in game. That's it for today's video. Make sure to subscribe to help me reach my subscriber goal. And also hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. So here is today's fan art. Alongside this amazing fan art, I also have some people wearing the merch from my Roblox group, which is linked in the description down below. If you would like your fan art or you wearing the merch showcased in one of my videos, all you have to do is submit it in the proper channels in my discord server post on twitter and make sure to tag me or post on your youtube community tab and i will make sure to include your fan art or you wearing my merch in one of my videos